Okay, I've been asked to um, buy a couple of beginners actually um, to learn them a few notes in this time of sort of lockdown and um, I'm going to start with a basically I use about three notes, three or four that, that's pretty much it um, but I'm going to start with the, the main one that I use and it's for tying on a up eyed fly, which is most of the time. I'm going to just zoom that in there. You'll see that the eye of the fly is coming up the way. Important for this um, knot, which we call a double tarot. Now, the thing about uh, uh, tying a fly on in any kind of knot is obviously you have to know how to tie the knot, but it's important, really important. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but it's really important what your fingers are doing during the process of tying the knot. Now that's what we'll have to really focus on here, what my fingers are doing. So I've got this black t-shirt on, my nice um, Whiskey Festival t-shirt, uh, to try and give me a background against this. So I'll try it with this first. So what I do is, here's a number four, nice big one, double hook, um, and I just wet that to begin with. And the reason for that is it takes all the fibres of the the fly back and none of them's going to get stuck in the in the tie and so anyway double turtle so so with an up eyed fly the nylon comes in from the bottom through the eye of the fly there like that see if you can get that um and then that goes away down there somewhere out the road we'll forget about that for a wee while then importantly so what i do is i get that three fingers there and I go once round them, twice round them until I have this here. That and you can maybe zoom in on that. You'll see two loops and a small end. So you've got two loops there and a small end. And this is where you start fiddling about with what your fingers are doing. I'll just take the nail and doing here so the fly sits in the right place and doesn't get hooked up everywhere. So, I've now got the two loops and the small end stuck between that forefinger and that thumb. I get the little end. Now, look at this. I've got this little end here because I've tied this a million times. However, and it's because I'm a Scotsman and I don't like waste, you see. So, but I would suggest having the little end a wee bit bigger, but I don't like wasting any nailing. So, it's precious commodity nailing. Um, so I'm going to start with the nail and the length that I like it. So what I do is I take the small end and I go over the top of the two loops and you can see that I trap, on the way over, I trap the small end with thumb and middle finger. I use this finger to pass it underneath the loops, you see? Because all I'm doing is making a half hitch around that two loops. So what I then do is I drop the loop from my right hand, get a hold of the little loop, little end sorry, and then pass it through that little hole there. So I end up with a, a half hitch around both loops, just like that. I'm going to unravel this look, and I'm going to show you that again from the kickoff, just so that you get it. So. So basically your fly's down the line and once, twice, thumb and forefinger, trap it, look there, small end here, over the top, underneath, grab a hold of it. So I've now got a hold of the, the loop here with this middle finger on my right hand, that, that frees up this two fingers. I get a hold of that two fingers, I trap the little end and the loops and then I go through the loop that I've just made, look, that gives me this half hitch. I pull that so that it's importantly taut and not tight. So I've got that, I've got it on my teeth, my dentist ever says you shouldn't have been doing that even, but it's lasted a long time so far, it's been fine. Anyway, so I end up with uh, this sort of affair. So it's basically two loops with a knot 
on the small end there. My fly is down here. Now I now want to make sure that this small end is facing away from me. I don't want it facing in toward me like that. I want it facing away from me. So I then come back down to my fly and I run my fly back up onto the knot. Now you remember that this is an up-eyed fly and I can see one fibre of the fly actually coming away from where I wet it earlier on but an up-eyed fly and I drop the fly onto the knot there so the fly comes up the nylon and it drops onto the knot ensuring that little end is facing away from my look and then with thumb and forefinger again I trap the knot right on the eye of the fly there so that's trapped right I'm going to go back so the fly comes up you've got a hold of the, the loops of line in this hand look fly comes up it drops onto the knot that you've created the half hitch and then you just slide your thumb and forefinger down there until the knot is right on top of the eye with mega importantly this little end facing away from you so it's going to be facing away from me toward the camera there then what we do the fly is now trapped with thumb and forefinger again and we pass the fly through the two loops so there's the two loops there here so we'll get a different perspective of it there so we pass the two loops over the top of the fly and over the top of the little end here the wee end there as well it's mega important that the two loops go over the top of the little end and not underneath it if it gets underneath it the, the knot will fail because this half hitch isn't trapped so over the top so back again fly comes down trap the knot between your thumb and forefinger and then pass the two ends over the fly and over the top of the little end. Now, this finger here is going to come into the play now. So as I pass that through, look, I'm now going to trap that to hold the, the two loops on that side of the fly with this middle finger. So I've got a hold of the knot on the eye of the hook with the thumb and forefinger. Now I've got a hold of the two little loops with this finger this leaves this whole hand free so i can now get my little end importantly just push that against the shank of the hook look so it's against the shank of the hook so now i've got a grip of everything everything's really tight with my left hand i can i can let go of this now once i've once the left hand has got a, a hold of that little end against the shank of the hook there this two loops, or those two loops, oh there's my nylon just fell down, hang on, get that, put that there, so these two loops are now in line, you can see them in line with the eye of the fly, look I'll try and keep that as steady as I can, so now what I do is I get one loop and I start pulling, now if I keep pulling, I'm going to get a wiggle, I'm going to finish with a wiggle on my nylon, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get, so there's a big loop and now there's a small loop there. I now get the small loop, then I pull the small loop here. Now I go back to the big loop and I pull it down the way there. And you can see that that... The fly is now attached and the great thing about this particular knot is that there's not uh, one point of the nylon that's taking all the pressure. It's not like a blood knot, which is a good knot, but it's not quite as strong as this one. A double towel is a really, really strong knot. It's never going to come off and really importantly, you tie it properly, the fly lands, lies absolutely dead straight there. Now that's not to say that it's not going to lie dead straight with a, a blood knot, but 
it's lying absolutely dead straight. Now I'm going to tie a, a blood knot now and I'm going to show you why I use this knot because it doesn't matter what I do here or how badly I cast, that fly is going to end up absolutely straight. There's no curls or wrinkles on the nylon here. Um, if you've got curls or wrinkles, the fly is not going to swim properly in the water. Now I could I could cut that little end off if I wanted. I don't need to. I mean, most people will trim it off. I remember with uh, a lot of the old guys that used to fish, they they would have a big bit like this trailing. They wouldn't even they would never worry about cutting uh, excess nylon off. But um, anyway, I'm going to show you how to now do a blood knot. And I'm going to show you the benefits of a blood knot um, if you've got a fly without an up eye because with the double turtle you definitely need the eye of the fly to be either up or down in the case of most trout flies. So anyway, that's the double turtle and you can slow it down and you can rewind it and you can pause it and you can fiddle about and see what I've just been doing but it's important that you, you, you look at what my fingers are doing, you know. Mega, mega important how you use your fingers. Stevie Mon. Anyway, there we go. I'll take my nice pair of tweezers, uh, scissors here, cut that off. And so that was number one, double turtle. Um, 